I hate being late to the movies. I have a ritual that I follow at the cinemas and I don't like it any other way. Hey everyone, I'm Nidhi Sahani. Welcome back to Popcorn Pixels Talk Time. Here are five of my movie theater habits. You might relate to some, you might not. Number one, arrive early. There are two reasons for this. First, I like to get there early, find my seat, get comfortable, and watch the previews. I love watching previews. I don't care if they're random brand ads or trailers of upcoming releases. I don't like missing previews before the film. Second reason is so I have enough time to go to the washroom. This is just so I can enjoy the movie experience more peacefully without feeling uncomfortable or having to rush during the intermission. Second habit, check my phone. Once I find my seat, I will check my phone for any important messages or notifications that that need my attention before the film begins, mostly there isn't any, and then I am fully disconnected. My phone is on silent and in my purse. I will not check it till the film ends. Number three, go alone. I haven't done this in a while, but I absolutely love going alone to the cinemas. And that's primarily because I don't like speaking or be spoken to when I'm watching a film. It's one of my biggest pet peeves. Oh, and I will shush anyone else talking or disrupting the viewing experience. Number four, trip to the concession stand. Typically, I avoid buying popcorn or drinks at the start of the screening because I end up finishing it before the film even begins. So I keep it for the intermission. Here's a fun fact. Did you know that the concept of intermissions was earlier known as Broadway bladder due to the alleged need of Broadway audience to use the restroom every 75 minutes. The theaters realized that and incorporated these breaks. Psychologically, intermissions allow the audience to take a pause, absorb the experience of the film, and also gives theaters an opportunity to make more money. Basically, I'm their perfect target audience who uses intermissions as an excuse to buy overpriced snacks and spend more money. Number five, stay until the end credits. Sometimes Maker will insert bonus scenes while the end credits roll just to mess with the audience. I love catching those. But there are two more reasons why I like to stay till there is a complete blackout. First, it's a great way to network and find the right people who have worked on the film. And second, most important reason to stay till the end credits is simply out of respect for the hard work of everyone involved in making a film. <laughs>